Hey everybody, Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. And what we have this time is the Kohetsu Hap 40 Western Petty 180mm knife. So this is a little bit longer than some of the standard 150s. Uh, this is three layer construction, so it has a soft stainless cladding wrapping around either side of that harder core steel. The core steel is known as Hap 40. It's a semi-stainless powdered metallurgy steel. Um, it is known for superior uh, edge retention around the Chef Knives to Go camp. They kind of nicknamed it Voodoo Steel because it has otherworldly edge retention. Uh, it's a very high heat treat, 65, so uh, it's actually surprisingly forgiving given how hard it is. And it's not too bad to sharpen with good, good quality kind of aggressive stones. So, uh, but the edge retention is simply outstanding on this. And uh, a lot of people in commercial kitchens are, you know, Pro environments love this because it's got great edge retention. Uh, it's a fairly light knife, as you might suspect. Uh, it's it's a Western handle with a full tang, but it's still not too heavy. It's about 3.4 ounces or 96 grams. Uh, the handle is just a standard Western uh, made out of mahogany. You can see a full tang construction, stainless rivets. They've got a real nice uh, integrated bolster here that goes right into the blade. So nicely done there. It's a real real well done. Uh, the edge length is about 177 millimeters from the tip to the back of the heel. Overall length is a little over 11 inches or about 285 millimeters. And then thickness wise, it's fairly thin. Um, it got about a little under 2 millimeters thick on the spine at the back, about 1.85 halfway down. It doesn't really lose a lot of thickness until you get it where it ground, excuse me, it gets ground down towards the edge and tip. So you can see the tip's pretty thin. But the blade's got a fair amount of stiffness to it. It's got some backbone to it. And get our camera to help us out here. It's pretty thin right at the edge there as well. Not a particularly tall blade. Height's about 29 uh, millimeters at the heel, but it is a, a thin neck, so you got a little bit of room there for your fingers. Uh, this might make a great knife for trimming meats, you know, silver skin on larger cuts where maybe the 150, it's not quite big enough for that. Here's our beauty shot. You can pretty easily see the cladding. Got some vertical finish marks on it. There's some embossed kanji right there. And then here's the cladding and the coarse steel peeking out. You can see that cladding line right there. They do a little bit of a thinning or polishing of the right side of the blade towards the edge to kind of thin it out for performance. So you'll see you'll see that kind of polished area that they don't do that on the left side of the blade but this is easier to actually see the cladding line. You can see that cladding line and coarse steel line right there. Fit and finish is nicely done. They've uh, polished the spine a little bit, just took the edge off the corners, and then they've done a little bit of work on the choil as well. Uh, this, I'll give it five or six out of 10. It wasn't like crazy sharp, but it was pretty sharp out of the box. It'll definitely get sharper. And again, this will hold a really great edge. Uh, balance point is going to be right about just in front of the where the bolsters just about where the bolster starts curving into the blade which for a western handle is not bad the handle's small so that helps the balance point a bit if you want to use this on the cutting board take a look at that here so here's what the edge profile looks like you can see it it's got a bit of a chopping area a flat area towards the back third I can get pretty high on a rock on this, so this will do quite a bit on the board. you got a little bit of clearance there. If you don't have enough clearance for your fingers, you can always go to the edge of the board. If you got a thicker board, or move the board to the edge of the counter. Uh, so you can hang the handle off to get uh, unlimited clearance if you want to do it that way. But it's just a nicely finished knife with great steel, uh, easy to care for, and uh, nice fit and finish, and just a good value. So this is the Kohetsu Hap 40. Western Petty 180 millimeter knife from Chef Knives to Go.